Well, good morning. Yes, it is a Wednesday morning and uh, we are on the journey of uh, answering the knocking at our heart's door. This morning, my title is Answer the Knocking, Only You Can Open the Door. Notice that. Answer that knocking because the only one that can open that door for you is you. Not anybody else. Not your preacher. Not your pastor. <laughs> no, you. You. You the only one that can open that door. And so... <sighs> To start our, our morning off with our knock-knock joke this morning is knock-knock, who's there? Luke. Luke who? Look through the peephole and find out. <laughs> yeah, come on. I know you've got some of those knock-knock jokes there. Why not, not, why not share some of those knock-knock jokes of yours with us this morning as well? But coming back to this, you see, more and more people in the world are rejecting Jesus Christ as the only way to the Father. This is a serious point because you see many, many people out there say that Jesus is not the only way to the Father, but you can find uh, your way to God through living a good life. Now, uh, I've said it so many times and I want to say it again to you. Good people don't go to heaven, only born again people do. Huh? So you have to respond to the knocking at your heart's door. You have to open up your door, accept Jesus Christ into your life because he's going to lead you into the presence of the Father. Now our scripture, our scripture is this this morning again, Revelation 3 verse 20. Yes, I said it's going to be our foundational scripture. And listen to what it says. It says, look, come on. So when there is a knocking, <laughs> we need to look. Okay, look who's on the other side. Jesus says, I stand at the door and knock. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in and we will share a meal together as friends. Man, I, I, again, I, I love that, that last part of that verse of scripture where it says we will become friends. Jesus is my best friend. <laughs> yeah, why? Because he will never let me down. You see, it's time for one to acknowledge the knocking taking place and take a look to see that Jesus Christ is our Savior, our Redeemer, the one who has set us free from the bondage of the slavery of sin. Now, he, we, once we allow him into our presence, you know what he does? He takes us into the presence of God. There is no knocking on the other side. We, we have a direct entrance into the presence of God because of Jesus Christ. <laughs> the only way to the Father is through the Son, Christ Jesus. The only way that we can come to the Father is by opening up our door, our heart's door, and allowing Jesus into our lives. Now, listen to this. There, are, there have been many worldwide reports of Muslims dreaming of a man in a white robe calling out to them. Now, I believe this is what Holy Spirit is doing. He's making those who once rejected Jesus to reveal to them in their dreams that Jesus Christ is the way to the Father. Uh, I, I read this article and it's kind of wonderful to see the way Jesus is revealing himself to those who are lost in dreams as he comes to them as a man in this white robe. Now, a, a, a Christian missionary in Egypt caught on to this when he started hearing about this uh, dreams that the Muslim people were having. He put an ad in the Egyptian newspaper and he said, if you had a dream of a man in a white robe, then phone this number and I will explain to you who he is and I will help you get to know this man in the white robe. Amazingly, they see, he said that the, his phone started ringing in. Many, many, many more were phoning in to say, I had this dream. And he was able to lead them to the Lord Jesus Christ. Why? Because you see, they heard the knocking and they wanted to open the door. And he was able to help them to open that door for Jesus Christ to come in. 
to their lives. You see, Paul was a ruthless religious fanatic that was on a mission to eradicate Christianity. And we know in his attempt to destroy Christianity, he has this encounter with Jesus. <laughs> Wonderful man. Let me tell you, he falls off his off. He falls into the dirt. And there he has this encounter. And again, we know that Paul became one of the greatest apostles that ever lived. He wrote most of the New Testament letters as well. Why? Because he had this encounter with Jesus. He opened up his door, his heart's door, and he allowed Jesus Christ in. You see, when Paul got up from the ground that he was knocked down to, he was a changed man, and he rose in the resurrected power of the, our living Christ Jesus, who rose from the dead to give us life. So, you need today, if you have never opened your heart's door to that knocking, then today I want to encourage you, open up your heart's door and allow Jesus Christ to come in and become your friend.